right, so I went ahead and checked the radiator cap and there's nothing in there. Uh, didn't have anything since I bought it. So I got a bunch of antifreeze and some dis distilled water. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. I hope this radiator holds um, fluid because it looks a little rough, but we have another one on the parts machine. If we don't, hopefully that also holds. Um, but we want to be able to get this so it can work and not just run for two minutes without having to shut it off. So let's see if it holds water. Uh oh, that looks dirty. Ugh, that's gonna be rough and empty. <laughs> and probably half of it came off of this old cap. Let's see if we get another one. Ah, I remember this old gal. Oh. Ooh. Uh, it's got to be better than that one, at least. No holes in it. Should be all right. Let me put this one on here. I'm going to take that one. Should work. So that little tube right there is like a little overfill and it's just running out the bottom but it looks like everything else is dry so far so good and that's the little straw there so i think it's got some fluid in it let's see how it goes also i just cleaned this up with a just a wire brush a little bit just to get some of the scale off so it's looking a lot better. All right, so the other thing I got to do is this tire is flat. This one holds there fine, but this one's been flat since I bought it. Um, and somebody bent this rim up. I don't know what happened, but it is very bent. Um, so we can either take one off the other Oliver or try to fix this one. For now, I think we might be better off just borrowing one from the other Oliver. Although it won't be painted nice and red. But this will get us out in the field and doing stuff. I just have to figure out how to jack this up because I only have, I don't have like a farm jack. Maybe I should get one. I need this. Well, that's about a mile. That's not gonna work good. Super solid ish. Okay. We just need it up an inch. And if it slips, the other tire will catch it. I just need to lift it in here. So let's not get too crazy. Yeah, that works. All right. Let's pop her off. Ooh, ooh shiny. So this thing, I don't know if you, yeah, you can definitely tell this thing is like messed up. Somebody got rough on this rim. I don't even know how that happens, but whatever, that's what we got. Let's see what else we got. All right, I found one. It looks rough, but it holds air, so that'll get us going. And it's not as pretty, but 
That'll do. All right, so that is just about ready to bolt up, but it's pretty ugly. I just found this. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. How far off? That's not too bad. It's better than white. Let's, let's give it a little scrub and a quick paint job. All right, color-wise, I think we're not too bad. That was like a New Holland red, but I feel like it looks just fine. This one's a little dirty, but yeah. That's the problem with you have something shiny and nice. It's the old tire, old ram. Yeah, they look good. That looks, I'm happy with that. Sweet. All right, one thing down. On to the next. Let's come back up here and just check and make sure. Yeah, we're still at a good level there. Hopefully that circulates and that water pump works and all that. Um, seems to be staying at a good level. So let's just go ahead and start it. And we'll make sure it's, it's gonna... These are new gauges. The guy that I bought it from, he put them in this. You got your oil your amps and your water. All right. Make sure we're not in gear so we don't go flying somewhere. And... I'm gonna let it run for a while, I'll drive around for a bit. We'll try the new wheel. The clutch is still a little funny and if you push it in too far it grinds but it seems to be going in gear all right <laughs> oh that is way better on steering he put a new steering wheel on so you don't get the black on your hands he did new ignition the guy I bought this from, man, he did a lot of work on it. LED lights and stuff. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever taken it in six gear. Downhill was a bad idea.
All right, so it seems like the gauge has stayed pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just check the oil and make sure that it's not low or anything because this gauge was a hair low, but I don't know these gauges very well, so it might, who knows how they read. Um, that one seems to stay pretty good, but I think I'm gonna take it on a ride down the road again, uh, a long ride. Uh, it's a little side angles. Yeah, let me check the oil. See how clean everything is? Like, look, even up in here, like, Usually there's rats' nests and all sorts of garbage in these. There's, he did a really good job cleaning this thing up and taking care of it. He found it in a barn, the guy that I bought it from. So that's pretty cool. I think we're losing a little antifreeze bumping around still. Uh, going through the fields and stuff. So I'll maybe check that again. Yeah, I think some of it just goes down the thing. It is dirty. There is like, there's like, it's like somebody maybe left the cap off of it because that's seeds and stuff. That can't be good, but. So far, so good. No major leaks. Let me go for, for another drive. Here's the other side. Yeah, everything seems pretty good in here. I like these labels. It works good. Everything runs nice and. All right, we got our sign on there. I even found the lid for the toolbox. A little rag and a couple zip ties in there. It must have something. Maybe other Oliver guys know. Maybe springs or something that holds this lid on. Both sides, it has little slots for, it looks like a spring or something. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, let's see if it gets hot on the road or how she does. It's got plenty of oil. Here we go. cool well the thing seems to be ready i think we're going to be pretty close to ready for making hay but if you haven't seen the oliver yet this is it uh and if you want one of these t-shirts this is uh my dog jake and this is actually our uh 8n that we took photos of and uh somehow got it to look like this and made shirts out of them so if you want one uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below, and you guys can um, jump on and grab one. Anyways, thanks for watching.